Hello then, welcome to this session on data manipulation and transformation with SQL. My name is Valentine and I'll be your instructor. Today we're going to be going through another session on SQL and our focus will be to perform techniques in relation to transformation. So sometimes you might want to select data or retrieve data from a SQL database, whether we are um, data analysts or data engineers um, or data scientists, and we might want to perform some sort of transformation. It could be that we might want to um, perform some um, specific um, techniques such as maybe concatenating or bringing together two columns and having um, that data stored in one column, then this session should be able to help us um, learn how to perform such tasks so that we are able to get the data that we need uh, more specifically for research problems that we might have. So yeah, so that's um, what we have in store for today. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to visit the description section of this um, video and then click on the practice resource link that should take you to this page and then you can um, sign in. Um, right now I'm already signed in as, as a member, but um, if you're not, you'll get um, um, another link, um, sample resource that um, you will be able to access once you have signed in and just click on um, connect, uh, not connect, but um, continue learning and you will end up to a page where you can get access to the sample um, workbook. As for those persons who would want to learn a bit more um, with challenges as well as get access to previous um, courses that we've done on SQL as well as Python and data related courses, um, then you can um, opt in to become an Afterwork member and you get access to all those resources. But again, if you're already an Afterwork member, just click on practice resource link that will take you to this page that um, um, not this one, it will take you to this other page that contains resources and it will provide you with um, challenges that you can be able to practice. Our focus will be learning how to work with SQL functions as well as perform some data insertion updating um, operations and be able to just be able to um, feel like we can be able to manipulate data um, um, when it comes to SQL. So yeah, so once you get to this page um, without challenges, if you're in after work member you get to this page um so once you get here we'll start off by learning about um, sql functions but before i do that you need to follow this link that will take you to um php my admin and then log in with the credentials these credentials um ensure that you copy paste and don't copy paste any spaces um just copy paste the credentials and then you should land onto the sql Oh, the PHP my admin page, which is a, a MySQL client. Um, basically, it's a program that allows you to interact with, with, um, with, 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 with other data, uh, with with um, data data sources such as MySQL. So you can work um, um, with MySQL using PHP my admin and um, having an interface for that. So once you get here, we'll go to day three because this course is a day three and. Um, of SQL and you get access to now the tables that you are. But click on SQL at the very top, SQL tab, and then that's where we're going to post our, have our code. Let me just zoom in a bit more so that you're able to see clearly. All right, so let's start off by going to the first section, implementing conditional logic using case. So in some situations, we might want to um, have some condition when we are selecting data. So for instance, if you wanted to select um, some columns, um, say first name, last name, and another column called age group, um, that would be as a result of some sort of if condition um, from patient's table, we can use, um, for that can condition that we want, we can use case statement. So we say, for now this new column that we want, which is age group, we would want to, um, use the birth date column to be able to um, check for the condition. So when birth date, um, the value for birth date is less than this particular value, then our value for age group will be over 30, else um, 30 or younger. So essentially what we are going to have is three columns, first name, last name, and age group. And then inside age group, you will have values that are either over 30 um, in the case where birth date is, is less than this value, 
and uh, or it could be that um, you would have this value 30 or younger so yeah so let's copy this code and then paste it um, here um, and you know click on go the far right and you should be able to get now our um, resulting table which has first name last name and over 30 and we can always um, export the data by clicking export it should take us to another page then we choose csv i won't do that for now but yeah um if you want maybe to edit so that we see maybe maybe um something like birth date you can um you, you know edit click on edit in line then write in birth um date um comma then press and go and you should be able to see now the values that were used in getting birth date um which are these ones in here awesome awesome guys so pause the video and then work on this challenge that you see here write a query to display patient visit reasons and categorize them as routine if the cost is less than a hundred thousand or expensive otherwise so you're going to use the patient visits table for that particular case because this table has the reason column all right um yeah let me close that one okay moving on um 1.2 let's move on to 1.2 so in some other cases we might want to work with string data and we might want to bring two columns together so the values of those two columns that we might want so that they create they are now another column so for example we might want to select maybe um this particular these particular two columns first name and last name um but then um have those values separated by a space so we use the concat um function and um we specify the first um column that we want to use values for um in our new column so first name um then it will be joined uh, with last name and we would want to save that as full name so we'll have a new column will select this actually selects full name and then be able to see um that from the patient so if you copy that and edit in line then paste that and say go you'll be able to see what you're seeing here awesome awesome work guys um i think that's 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 good so far pause the video and then work on the challenge we don't have the challenge for this for again if you're an after work member um you will get the challenge in the other page but i could still share share that uh well i've already closed it but yeah i again just consider becoming an after work member you get all the challenges and also for future um videos that we release you get um resources such as practice exercises as well as the solutions for those exercises moving on in some situations we might work with again string data but we might want to extract maybe specific parts of a string so for instance um, we could use the substring function as you can see here and then we want to extract um, some characters from the email column and we want to extract from the first to the fifth character of this column and have that as um, email prefix column then yeah so that's what we can do so copy that then edit inline paste it here then go um, and then you should be able to get now um, those those values that you have extracted sometimes you know that might be useful in certain cases um in this time during this time we have a challenge which you can work on so let me even just zoom in also here a bit so you can work on um this challenge that you see here to just practice that um, technique so yeah you can pause the video all right moving on in some situations we might want maybe to perform some date operations so some operations on date um, data and there are a lot of functions that we can use um, so we just explore just a few um, before we um, we leave it up to you to be able to explore the rest so for example we can manipulate date and time data using date diff so date diff is a function that we can use to calculate the difference between two dates so it just helps us being to to be able to measure durations or in intervals um yeah so for instance in our case here we are selecting patient id we might want to um select maybe their age um so we use now inside date diff um to specify the current time if it was the column that was existing in the database you could use that and of course save that as a different 
um, new column name. So now um, minus birth date. So we'll get the current time. Then um, we want to get the current time different, the difference between current time and the birth date, and save that age in days. And um, you know um, that would we, that's what we want from the patient's data. So let's edit in line, paste this, and then go. That should give us um, the number of of days um, in that particular bit. All right, awesome. Pause the video if you're not talk member and then work on the challenge. In some other situations, we might want to use another date time a date time function or date function. We might want maybe to use this function called date add, which would add um, you know um, dates to um, an existing column that we might want. So, for example. If we want to maybe schedule some sort of follow-up appointment for patients in the future, we can then add, um, um, we can use date add to add um, some, 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 some dates, um, uh, some, 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 some date, yes, uh, to add some time, not some date, some time to the current time. So for example, we could use a date add function in our case when we are selecting to um, consider the existing column visit date and add um, one month um, to that particular date um, which again would in this case be a follow-up date so for the patients and yeah there are many cases where you can use this maybe even in projects um, etc uh, or if you want just to use some data for some specific purpose maybe in finance so so copy that and paste that in here And you can see we have patient as well as follow up dates. Um, let me just just um, copy this. Let me also display visit date, which you can also do the same thing. Uh, just put a comment. Just press go. So you can see visit date. Um, it's on the fifteenth of January, and we have follow up date on the fifteenth of um, February. Awesome, guys. Awesome. All right. Let's um, pause the video and then work on the challenge. All right, so we are going to move on to the second section of this um, course, and this will entail being able to learn how to insert data as well as modify existing records and remove records. For the purpose of this session, we won't remove any records. I haven't enabled that for this user because I wouldn't want a user, certain user, deleting all the records that we need or all the tables that we need for 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 learning. So. Yeah, so I, we will just learn how to do this, but I won't um, showcase that something that you can always do in your own um, environment. So um, let's first of all start with insert into statement. So if we want to insert some data into a table, we can use the insert to statement, um, which would contain um, the patients um, or the table that we want to insert data to. And then we define the columns that we want to insert data for these should be existing columns already in our data um, or in our table and then we give the values the respective values using the values um, clause um, or keyword um, um, as part the definition of the column names that we have here so 64 will be um, will be the patient id john will be the first name doe would be the last name etc yeah, so if you run this statement, let's copy that. This should insert a new record. So I will um, edit in line, paste this, but I let me change this to 160. You can change the ID maybe to your own. I would just change mine to 6,554, then click on go. Um, it will tell me that it has inserted. So to be able to confirm, um, you can write some other code for selecting patients, but you could also just click on patients on the far left. And then, um you could decide to just show 100 um you could show all 100 then if you scroll down you'll see my the record that i have added which has an in, has an id of 6554 awesome pause the video and then work on the challenge try out your own 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 id or um your own data um and then um we can continue ensure that yeah for the challenge just do the same thing um, change something in the challenge. All right, 2.2. In some situations, we might want to maybe edit existing records, um, and we can do that using the update statement. So 
um, use update to specify the um, specify the name of the table. Then we um, use the set um, keyword to set the column um, that we want um, um, to be um, the new value that we would want. So this is what we would want for the email column. We want um, this particular value to be a, to be the new value where now patient ID is equals to three. So you, yeah, that should replace that what we want. So let me copy this. But again, I had already run that. Um, like you can see here, I had already run that, but I, I can modify the value in the in the email. So instead of saying S Samuel, I can just put an S and you can also do the same thing just to play around and see what happens. So that has already taken place. So I can go to patients and I should be able to see that the email is S or T, you know, um, at newdomain.com. All right, um, pause the video and then work on the challenge. And then once you're done, you should be, be good to go. All right, lastly, the concept that we're going to be going through, it was one that involves just removing records. So assuming you wanted to remove records, say from a particular table, we can use the delete statement. So we say delete from, then the name of the table, where, um, use the where clause and we specify um, with a column that we would want to be this. So if you have, let's say a column that's quite common, say where name is equals to something, it will delete all the instances of that name um, from the record itself. For this particular case, if you try to run this, you'll get an error. It's because I haven't given the user privileges to run this um, type of uh, operation um, because, because I don't want people to delete all the records here because it's for learning and everyone wants to learn. Again, you could always try out in a different environment. All right, pause the video and then um, understand the challenge. And um, once you do, um, we can wrap up. All right, so that's it. So that's it with regards to this session. It was a short one. The idea was just to quickly get you up to speed on how you can manipulate and just transform data while you're selecting it. This might be useful for data analysts or data engineers or even data scientists and it would help you to just narrow down to the data that you would want for answering research questions so if you did love the um this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up it helps um, um to let us know that um, we're doing a good job and also helps others to just know that this is a good resource and if you'd want to be informed when we post such future learning experiences be sure to subscribe and see you in the next learning experience bye bye